Alrighty, folks, I had a couple of products here I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, this was included in the video that we did the other day that was our video on the cold weather sleeping gear. Uh, but I wanted to cover these two products in particular, and I did not have one of these when I made that video the other day. Now I do, and so I wanted to revisit both of these items so that they would have their own little video of their own, if you will, because they go together. Um, so anyway, this is the, this here is the rain poncho, here is the wooby or the poncho liner. Um, I don't have enough room on my table here to be able to show you how big the entire thing is, but uh, I do have it here, it's 62 inches by 82 inches, and for folks that, you know, uh, us Americans that might want to understand that a little easier, 5 foot 2 inches by 6 foot 10 inches. And uh, for those across the pond that want to have a little bit of fun, uh, that would be 1,574.8 millimeters by 2,082.8 millimeters. So just for a little bit of fun, uh, poking those across the pond and many other places that uh, had the common sense to go to metric. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me talk about the poncho here first. Uh, both of these are a USGI Industries brand. This is their military style poncho, multi-use ripstop rain poncho. And uh, what they have here is uh, just simply that uh, it's an exceptional piece of field gear. Its grommets and snaps allow for the poncho to have dozens of uses. You can also use it with your poncho liner to make yourself a sleeping bag. Look inside for a list of survival uses. Full military grade size, 62 inches by 82 inches. Incredibly strong ripstop, 210T polyester. Water pressure resistance of 2,000 millimeters to 3,000 millimeters. H20.8 heavy duty dark metal grommets. 16 heavy duty universal dark metal snap buttons. Uh, and compatibility with backpacks and backpack carried army duffel bags. Strong dar strings for much comfortable and tighter fit uh, and you get that idea right so anyway this is the round rain poncho let me pull it out of the package here real quick and there were a lot of complaints in the re reviews about how this was much thinner than what folks were remembering from their military days uh, well this isn't from the military this is from uh, USGI uh, and I, I, there's a number of things I could say about that. Um, the thing of it is, is as time goes by, technology improves. And so sometimes, uh, and a lot of times, most times, um, that allows them to make better products, uh, even lighter and, and more convenient. So that's a thing of technology. Am I saying that this is better than an old military, uh, poncho? Absolutely not. I don't think it is. I don't believe it is. But it's not going to be junk either. Now, this isn't, uh, if you're going to be doing uh, field operations in the uh, brush to where you're going to be uh, running through sticker bushes after the enemy and all that stuff, well, this isn't going to be the poncho you need, Rambo. Um, you're going to need something else, right? Don't be shopping on Amazon for your poncho. Um, for this, however, this will do great. This will do fine for, for the average use, right, of what you would need a poncho for. Now, as I said, they've got the snaps and they've got the grommets, and it seems to be, to be really honest, a pretty decent little poncho. Again, it's it's not super uber tactical door gunner rated, but uh, it will it will most certainly suffice. So, and I think it'd do very well. I think it'd do very well as a, a poncho, uh, you know, outer shell for a sleeping bag. Uh, or even some makeshift shelter that you would have to set up. Uh, I do think this would be a really good product for that. You know, there's the grommets. Uh, really good looking product. Looks like they really did a good job manufacturing it. Just my thoughts on it, my opinion. Um, let me set that out of the way. Like I said, I, I don't have enough room to show you all of you know, to be able to really kind of put it all out and show you, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but... Uh, the only way I know how I could do that is go to the kitchen floor or something. I don't know. But uh, it's not all worth that. 
this, I was very pleasantly surprised at, uh, at how well this is made. So this is their poncho liner, their wooby blanket. And by the way, the, um, the poncho itself, uh, at the time of this video, is $39, oh, well, no, sorry, that's the wrong one, $32.99 for the poncho liner. Um, or for the poncho, for the rain poncho. For the poncho liner, the wooby blanket, um, this one here was $39.99 because it's black. Some of the colors they had for like $32.99 at the time of this video. So, um, if the price changes a little bit, don't sue me. Um, anyway, here is your little tie-offs that you tie into the grommets to be able to put that in there. And this is really, I, I think it's really, really nice made. Um, it's stitched very well. It seems to be a, a very well-made product, in my opinion. Um, I think so. It, again, is it back to the old school, exactly the way it was in the military days? No, probably not. Um, settle down stormtrooper. I think it'll be all right. I think it will, uh, I think it will suffice. Now, they even, if you look, and I'll have the links, there'll be Amazon affiliate links to these products in the description of the video. And if you look at, uh, the description for this, uh, Wooby blanket, uh, they will even talk about how if you, uh, get stuck in inclement, cold inclement weather and stuff, how you could take your knife or whatever and slash a ho hole uh, or a hoe uh, in the in the middle of the blanket. Um, so, and you could use it. You could go ahead and tie it into your uh, rain poncho, and you know use this with your rain poncho to both stay dry and warm. And while I think that is an incredible idea and concept, uh, I think it would be incredibly foolish to destroy your wooby blanket by slashing a hole in it and just leaving it at that. I would say if you intend or if you think you may intend to want to use it in that manner, I would say when you get it, what you need to do is break out the trusty old sewing machine and I would go ahead and nicely cut your hole and sew up the ends, the edges. And I don't know what they call this stuff uh, edging or what they call it in, uh, in sewer's terms, but uh, I, would, I would definitely use some of it. I'll call it edging. I would definitely put some edging on it. But here's the other thing that I would do. Um, I would also put a flap, I would make a flap, a material flap over it, and I would sew in some hook and loop or Velcro. And then that way, you know, all you'd have to do is pull the Velcro open and stick your head through it. Or if you're not using it, and you know, if you're using it in the normal manner as a blanket or, or a sleeping bag or whatever, you know, you just leave that Velcro shut and no air would get into it. So just my thoughts, just my two cents on, on an idea of what you could do now before things got crazy uh, that would help you utilize this in, in both manners uh, and do so without destroying your wooby blanket. So, because uh, like I say, if you just cut that and then leave it at that, I get it, it's ripstop and all that stuff. Um, but still, nonetheless, that's, that's not ideal. You'd, you'd want to, you know, try to do a little better finish on it if, if you can. So... Anyway, that's my thoughts on these products. Uh, they both get a, a thumbs up from me, and um, I think they uh, I think they're a good solid choice. So, if you're in the market, I'll leave links in the description. Other than that, I hope you learned something from this, and you have a great day. As always, shalom.